Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18. Yes, this is an exciting time of the year, one of my favorite times of the year as we anticipate Apple's next major update. Now, in this video, I want to talk about a few fundamental flaws within iOS that really need to be addressed this year. So I have a jailbroken iPhone here just for demo in comparison to a stock iPhone. And I also want to talk about a few things that Apple has already confirmed to be working on this time around for iOS 18. And now keep in mind, the first beta usually happens at WWDC and the WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference usually happens the first week of June. So this time around, although this is not confirmed dates just yet, I believe WWDC this year will happen from June 3rd through the 7th. Now at the latest, I would say the 10th through the 14th, but I think the first week of June. So that puts us about three months away from the first beta for iOS 18. And there's a lot of things that Apple is working on. It is rumored that this is going to be one of the biggest updates to the iPhone in years. Mark Gurman himself mentions that Apple is working on new designs. Although he did not specify what new designs means, it could be different widgets, perhaps even an icon refresh or redesign, notification or UI changes. But in this video, I wanna talk about the fundamental flaws within the OS, as I mentioned, in order to get a better user experience for iPhone users. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as I mentioned, there's a few things that Apple is already confirmed to be working on. Confirmed by Apple, Apple is already working on RCS support. This will be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. And of course, this is great because we'll have a better and richer communication service with Android devices, which is much needed on the iPhone. Now, Apple is also working on a major AI push, not only for Siri, but throughout the entire OS. So Siri will most likely get finally smarter this time around, and we may see a lot of AI integrated within the operating system in order to also improve the user experience, whether it is for Apple Music or suggestions, or maybe the keyboard or whatever it is, Apple is definitely working on something big for AI this year. And Siri will also get, of course, some of that AI technology that Apple has been working on. Now, aside from this, as I mentioned, I wanna talk about some of the fundamental flaws within iOS that I think need to be addressed. And I wanna start off with the lock screen. And you may agree or may not agree, but let me know in those comments down below. So right here on the lock screen, there's two shortcuts. Now we can't change those. That's going to be the flash and the camera. It would be nice to have the ability to change this to whatever you want, maybe the magnifying glass or perhaps the notes so you can press it and go to the notes or perhaps even change this to a third party application if you wish to do so or a quick translate button. Here is this jailbroken iPhone, for example, as I mentioned, this one is for reference right here. So we have the option to choose more than one. Do not disturb, flash as you can see right there. And on the right, I still have the camera, but I also have notes so that I can take a quick note if I need to do so. So the ability to customize these shortcuts on the lock screen, I think would be a great idea. Now, speaking of the lock screen, I think we also need a better lock screen management for wallpapers and setups. So right now, if you have multiple wallpaper setups, the only way to get rid of them is by swiping individually and deleting these setups one by one. But over time, this can get very, very crowded. So in order to fix this, I think Apple needs to bring a grid view. So something like this will definitely help manage those wallpapers and lock screen setups within iOS 18. This was rumored to be happening and never did, but I think this will definitely help the user experience to manage those wallpapers and lock screen setups. By the way, if you want this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description down below. So now let's talk about some of the home screen stuff. Now there's also a few things that Apple needs to address here and I wanna start off with AirPods. So with AirPods, when you connect your AirPods to your iPhone, you get the menu here for AirPods, so their own dedicated section but there still isn't any manual way to update your AirPods. So in order to update your AirPods, it typically happens in the background. So when you plug your iPhone in your AirPods to charge, they sit next to each other and the AirPods are paired to your iPhone, they automatically update. But oftentimes users just want to manually check for AirPods update. And I think Apple really just needs to address this. Just add a check for update on the AirPods section there in order for users to manually check for software or firmware updates for AirPods. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is widgets and the home screen itself. Remember, Mark Gurman mentions there's going to be new designs, although he did not specify, I'm hoping to see new widgets, perhaps different size widget will also be great to see within iOS 18. So smaller widgets, maybe a two icon widget setup, that would be nice as you can see from this image here. 
I think this would be a great idea for information like weather, perhaps even the calendar or a player, as you can see right there, and perhaps even bring some of these toggles to the widgets on the home screen as well. Now, in terms of design, I don't think Apple will change the icons to round icons. I think iOS 18 may see some Vision Pro or Vision OS design uh, cues or aesthetics being implemented through the iPhone, but I don't think Apple will make the drastic change to circular icons. Let me know what you think. If Apple changes to circular icons or round icons, would you prefer that instead of the ones that we have now? Take a look at both of these iPhones and tell me which one would you prefer? Now, the third thing I wanna talk about is the app library. So this one is all the way at the end here. I would love to see this integrated within the dock of the iPhone. So you can press the icon on the dock and you'll be able to access this feature. I barely ever use this feature because it is hitting there at the end of the last page. And on the iPhone, I think this makes a lot of sense to just bring it to the dock. That way you can just press on the dock and maybe just launch the app library option directly from there. And those are some of the fundamental flaws and changes that I think Apple needs to make this year in order to provide iPhone users with a better user experience. I know there's a lot more things that you guys want in terms of features and changes, but these are important things that I think will help improve the user experience overall. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you agree with me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.